Hello, Ryan Carter, and I'm here just to show you some of the fantastic props I will be using in our first campaign, the Aragold Farleon War. So I thought it'd be pretty fun just to take a look at these and maybe in the future we'll do another such video and be able to compare um, what tools we had then and now. So I guess just to get this out of the way, I haven't had a chance to use this yet, but this boat is pretty cool from Clever Paper. Uh, Rubrand, and I have another boat to put together, so hopefully I'll get that put together before we uh, actually have any naval encounters, so there can be perhaps opposing sides. So that's quite nice. And there are several other large buildings, such as this beautiful castle, a hunting castle, also from Rubrand, Trevor clever paper and these are quite nice I enjoy them they open up this one's a little tricky but if I can pull this tab out oof, without breaking it um, yeah, it goes right up on in there and there's a lot of detail in there so maybe we'll go inside there one day with some of our miniatures hopefully this goblin never makes it into the castles of Iron Haven, that would be a, a frightful day. But, speaking of goblins, got a couple miniatures here. Little goblin, little Tredicor the monk, and yeah, been trying to paint eye eyeballs lately, so these aren't great, but. The rest of the painting is okay. Uh, there's also this more fancy goblin, which is from the brand Hand of Glory, because he doesn't have hands yet. I can put whatever sort of weapons or empty hands I would like on these bad boys. Oh yeah, last episode he, he wielded a scythe, which was quite terrifying. Oh, along with this throwing star, whatever that is. So those can be terrifying. Could be a number of different enemies. Uh, so probably see a lot of goblins. I hope Panda Glory makes more. I wanted them to have a monk for Tredicor. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh yeah, bedrolls and tents, which uh, were 3D printed. Uh, on my friend's uh, 3D printer, and put a link to that below, maybe. There's also this larger tent which opens up, so that's pretty cool. And I've got an assortment of trees, which I purchased and mounted onto these frames uh, with help from Inspiration from Black Magic Craft with the uh, foam, which, uh, you know, put flocking and stuff on. It's kind of not the most amazing job. I uh, did a similar thing with these mushrooms, which I hope to use soon. Uh, the world of Eldarian does have some large mushroom forests and crafted these from clay with uh, my wife. So that was quite fun. You know, make a few more of those. Otherwise, there's watchtowers, segments of the walls, which can just be taken apart or used as little huts or whatever. I've got various sections of walls, some with their own houses, uh, more of the Rue brand, which opens up in various ways to reveal interiors. So yes, these could be various city elements, just to add a little bit of fun. Another piece, 3D printed, uh, with my friend Caleb's printer. Uh, these also remove to see inside. And the cool thing about this one, it could be two-story or one-story. Here's another piece. This is a versatile castle tower. 
can be taken apart as a round tower and it, uh, what's this one called? Don John. Taken apart as a round tower and a Don John. And you can even go inside there, put some little miniatures, goblins or what have you. That is most of it. There's a few other props, which I very much enjoy adding to my campaign. Uh, most, most essentially, inspired by Black Magic Craft, got some dungeon tiles to arrange in various ways to make various rooms. And a couple of these I have are also organically shaped. So a couple natural caverns. I do favor the natural caverns to the mythical dungeons. A similar, slightly different flavor. More realistic. Got these potions of healing and various other potions which are just a cheap prop I got from Target for a dollar and made my own paper to stick on there. This game, Minor Arcana, is an invention of myself. It's just a very simple warlike game with ancient tarot artwork. And there's a special rule set that goes along with it, and I'll put a link to this below as well. I forged that on GameCrafter.com, which is a pretty fun website. It lets you make your own games of all sorts and purchase for others. All right, one last piece here, the chest. When completing vicious boss encounters, you may be awarded with a magical chest. And we might see what our heroes are granted next time. Oh yes, there's some gold, some potions. And what's this? A new card for our decks. Hmm. Trying to think of some unique rewards to give out to my players, so hopefully that'll be enjoyable. Give somebody an upper hand in their future card battles for receiving a powerful giant card to add to their decks. Well, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I got here. I would be interested in making videos in the future of crafting various elements, perhaps these mushrooms or some other piece. Um, there's also a game from the Game Crafter, which is quite enjoyable. It's a dungeon crawler solo RPG uh, card game. And I've got it sitting over here. Oh yes, the Iron Helm. I actually wanted to do a video of just me playing that game and you can see my board. It was quite enjoyable. I actually beat the entire released game, which is only two expansion packs. And I wasn't sure I did it right because I was surprised I survived, but I did get pretty lucky. So hopefully I can do that again and post it. Um, yeah, let me know what kind of content you're interested in seeing from me in the future. Obviously I'll be doing uh, my campaign with my characters and posting that, but I'm also interested in making other videos perhaps. Um, like maybe the game masters who post um, content inspiration for campaigns for other people to use and uh, take little bits of knowledge from each other. Uh, you know, I know Guy has a channel, Game Masters, and yeah, those are very inspiring to me. Uh, you know, videos of Matt Mercer. I love Critical Role, but some of my favorites are actually Celebrity and D. Like, um, the one where they go into the swamp and just the entire setup of that one shot it was one of the things that really got me into Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, just being able to tell a story like that and being so immersed. Uh, Matt Mercer, obviously phenomenal DM. Uh, life goals. Uh, yeah. Personally, I think there's some, some debate about the Matt Mercer effect, but I would love to be as amazing as Matt Mercer. He's a good role model for any game master. Yeah, I prefer the term game master to dungeon master because there's so much more to the game than just dungeons. Well, I will talk to you later, and do let me know what you're interested in seeing from me. Again, I'm Ryan Carter. Thanks. Have a great day.
You too, sick. You're a good boy.